Greetings. Nice to see you again. This is actually going to be more of a show and tell than it is going to be a review. So I'm going to concentrate on my B1 Bakugan. So first one, as you can see, it's Dragonoid. It's the original Dragonoid. Um, I do like that he is in a darkest color. I think that's uh, really cool in the Transformer world. There's a toy called Nemesis Prime. The original Optimus Prime, you know, his famous colors is he's basically red with some blue. And Nemesis Prime, of course, is the exact same mold, the exact same toy, but he is in black. And they've, you know, they've made several uh, Nemesis Primes throughout you know so he's kind of an interesting character and this uh, darkest dragonoid kind of reminds me of that so I had to get him uh, second one is fear ripper um, no I'm sorry it's just regular R reaper not a not a ripper reaper okay my bad um, that's right it I said that because I've been thinking about getting a b1 fear fear ripper but uh, still not sure if I will. Uh, back to Reaper. This is my Pyrus Reaper. I like to call him my Hell Reaper because you know he has that fire color. Uh, very pretty looking um, and freaky looking. Looks like he belongs in a horror movie. And this is the other one, uh, Gorum. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of Gorum. I like him very much. And actually, for my B1, these are three of my regular B1 Bakugan. I have three more, so this might surprise you, but I actually only have six, not including my Delta Dragonoid, because that's not opened. But yeah, I only have six. So let me go into the other three. Okay. So moving along with the B1 series, um, my next three are a little bit more special, if you will. That's the first one, Pyrus Dragonoid, except it's in translucent. So very gem-like, very nice looking. Here's my next one. Prayas, and you know all about him if you've seen my video on the Bakugan story. And to commemorate that occasion, I got this guy right here, which is the character figure of Prayas, and this one is in translucent. And last but not least, I just had to get this one, and that is my heavy metal hydronoid. It's the special attack. He's in Subterra. If you actually look closely, he is in reverse color, even though it's kind of hard to tell. So that's it. These are my final three and a total of six, not including my Delta. So you might be asking, why do I only have six B1 Bakugan? Well, it's not because I think the B1 Bakugan are not good, you know, it, it's just that where I live in, it's very difficult to find them, and they're becoming harder and harder to find, period, you know, uh, they're, they're not the standard anymore, so, you know, if I was a collector, sure, you know, I, I could, uh, I'll, I'll go out of my way to find them, I'll get them somehow, you know, but I'm not a collector, I do this for fun, and I'm pretty busy with the B2 and the, the new ones coming out, so, you know, that's why I, I only have six. I started real late, you know, so th that's why. So now, uh, my question for you is, out of all the B1, Bakugan that have been released and I know there are tons and tons uh, which one is your favorite 
I know some of them they've they've made into B2 and I'm so glad that they did uh, maybe they did all of them but definitely not in you know all the colors that they had available in B1 but you know out of the ones they had for B1 which one is your favorite I know for a long long time uh, Nurse Ion really really wanted a cycloid and she finally got it you know a while back and she was really really happy about it I know it was like a pure luck how she got it so you know I'm, I'm real happy for her being her close friend uh, you know for me which one uh, you know I did really really want the uh, the Delta Dragonoid more than the Delta Dragonoid I wanted the heavy metal Hydronoid and so that that was the one that I really really wanted and I was able to get one for her and finally through some trouble I was able to get one for myself so you know I'm pretty satisfied with the B1 series